one goal and then you set up a second goal today, Diana. Um, for that, for your goal, it looked like you placed that one. Was was there any method to that or how did that one work out? Uh, yeah, I had an excellent meeting with John Herdman and he just basically told me to score goals like Iniesta. So I was just thinking, what would Iniesta do? And I just tried to place it bottom corner. And then you set up one for, for Adriana, sort of capitalizing on some slack defending. What what opened up for you out there that allowed you guys to sort of make the, or to exploit them a little bit there? Uh, we made a, a tactical formation change, which came from the bench, which worked well, and then we were just able to press them more. And once we started pressing them, we were able to win the ball higher up the field. And once you, you were up 3-0, you gave up the one right back, and then it sort of turned physical. You drew a foul there that got one player with a yellow card, one player with a second yellow card. I don't think I've ever seen two people pick up a yellow on sort of essentially one foul. Um, did you expect that coming in, how, I don't want to say nasty, but physical this would be? Uh, yeah, we did. That's one of the things we know about the Italian team. I mean, there's a few teams out there, you know it's not just going to be physical, it's going to be chippy, and Italy's one of those teams, and it was definitely like that today. You saw Sophie go down with with a cut, it looks like, to, to her cheek or something, but uh, hopefully she'll be yeah. she'll be fit for one final game against England. Mm -hmm. How are you guys holding up with, with two games in three days, and now you get a couple days off? Yeah, I, I think we're holding up well. We've got the best sports science guy out there, so our recovery is on point, and uh, we're heading in now to start the recovery process. Thanks, Dana. Thanks.